Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries of the universe? Well, you're in for a cosmic journey. As today, we're delving into the intriguing world of space exploration and astronomy. Welcome back to our channel, where we unravel the wonders of the cosmos one video at a time. But before we embark on this celestial adventure, don't forget to show some cosmic love by hitting that like button and sharing our channel with your fellow stargazers. NASA has, at long last, unlocked the space capsule, housing the most extensive asteroid sample ever obtained during a space mission. This remarkable sample was procured from Bennu, a potentially hazardous asteroid resembling a time capsule from the early solar system. On September 26, 2023, scientists stationed at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston meticulously opened the lid of the sample return canister which had safely returned to Earth just two days prior via the OSIRIS-REx mission. As the lid was gently raised, a collective gasp escaped from the scientists' lips as they beheld an unexpected sight, a layer of black dust and debris adorning the avionics deck of the canister. Intriguingly, the sample also tipped the scales at a surprising 100 grams more than initially collected from Bennu, even though it had been securely contained throughout its journey. The questions now loomed. What caused this unexpected development? What is the origin of the enigmatic black dust found on the canister's avionics deck? And, most crucially, what revelations do scientists anticipate unearthing through the in-depth analysis of the most extensive asteroid sample ever brought back to Earth? While the chances of this actually occurring are relatively low, scientists want to gather as much information as possible to prepare for any potential risks. The journey to Bennu was a two-year, four-month voyage, culminating in its arrival on December 3, 2018. OSIRIS-REx traveled approximately 1.4 billion miles, 2.2 billion kilometers, to reach its destination and entered orbit around the asteroid. Once in orbit, a series of surveys and mapping activities were conducted to select the ideal site for collecting samples. The most exhilarating phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission occurred during the sample collection event on October 20, 2020. The spacecraft utilized its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, TAGSAM, a robotic arm attached to the spacecraft's main body. This arm briefly made contact with the surface of the asteroid to collect the sample which would be placed into the Earth return vehicle. 
Given that Bennu is a small asteroid with a diameter of just half a kilometer, the arm had to collect the sample in a nearly zero gravity environment. Osiris Rex had only one opportunity to get it right, with no room for error. When the spacecraft made contact with Bennu at a site called Nightingale, a burst of nitrogen gas was deployed to agitate and lift surface material into the sample collection chamber. The minimum requirement for the sample size was 60 grams. However, during the brief nine-second contact with Bennu, Osiris Rex remarkably collected 300 grams of the sample, five times what NASA had originally anticipated. The sample had been securely enclosed. Yet a complication emerged. A blockage in the flap, resulting from larger rocks, allowed some of the material to escape. In order to avoid any additional loss, NASA opted to forego the planned sample measurement and instead sealed it in preparation for return. On May 10th, 2021, OSIRIS-REx embarked on its journey back to Earth, leaving Bennu behind. After nearly two and a half years, on September 24th, 2023, the spacecraft arrived in Earth's proximity and deployed the capsule carrying the precious asteroid sample. The capsule descended into Earth's atmosphere, traveling at a velocity of 12 kilometers per second and activated a parachute to decelerate. It safely touched down at the Utah Test and Training Range, where it was retrieved by NASA personnel a few days later. Upon opening the lid of the sample return canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, scientists encountered a sight that filled them with both surprise and enthusiasm. Their initial observation revealed a layer of dark powder and sand-sized particles on the avionics deck of the sample canister, most probably originating from Bennu, it not only coated the interior of the canister, but also extended to its exterior, including the avionics deck where the electronics were housed. Dust had managed to seep out of the canister through minuscule gaps between the lid and the body, prompting inquiries into the cause of this phenomenon. As per NASA's findings, when OSIRIS-REx touched down on Bennu, its brief contact is believed to have generated a shockwave that propagated across the asteroid's surface. This phenomenon resulted in the ejection of certain materials into space. Some of these materials tra Aircraft Hayabusa 2 returned samples from Ryugu to Earth. Subsequent analysis of these samples revealed an array of organic molecules, including amino acids. Amino acids serve as the fundamental components of proteins, which are essential for life. This discovery suggests the intriguing possibility 
that the essential building blocks of life might have reached Earth via asteroids during its early history. The next phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission, now named OSIRIS Apex, will concentrate on the study of asteroid Apophis. Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid with an approximate diameter of 1,100 feet, 340 meters. It is expected to make a close approach to Earth in 2029, and there is an estimated 1 in 150,000 chance of it impacting Earth in 2068. Osiris Apex is scheduled to reach Apophis in April 2029, just a few months following Apophis's close encounter with Earth. The spacecraft will dedicate 18 months to studying Apophis from orbit. Throughout this time frame, Osiris Apex will utilize its instruments to acquire images and create maps of the asteroid, delve into its composition and gauge its dimensions and form. The Osiris Apex mission is a pivotal step in our quest to comprehend near-Earth objects and the potential threats they pose to our planet. The data obtained from this mission will significantly enhance our ability to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. We hope you enjoyed this interstellar adventure with us today. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest cosmic explorations. If you have any questions, topics you'd like us to cover, or just want to share your thoughts, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic quest. And until next time, keep looking up at the stars and never stop wondering about the vastness of the universe. Safe travels, fellow space enthusiasts.